everyone, how's it going? I'm Walden from Nerd Labs, and in today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to build an oscilloscope at home. An oscilloscope is a device that allows you to see how voltages change over time. This can allow you to see the waveforms of music, but more importantly, it can allow you to see AC waveforms in electronics projects, which makes a really useful troubleshooting tool. I recently got my hands on a Tektronix 2465B oscilloscope like this one, but it was broken. Which is why I'm going to be showing you how to build a simple oscilloscope using nothing but an old television. Only on Nerd Labs. This is a new and me. My mom's TV. I'm sure she won't mind. She hasn't used that thing in years. Let's take it apart. This screwdriver is connected to ground. You hear those pops and crackles? That's the TV tube discharging. That's 5,000 volts. If you had touched that, that would have killed you. Now that we're safe, it's time to heat up our soldering iron and get electronics in. Wait, that isn't a word. Now you have to find these four wires, which connect to the horizontal and vertical deflection coils. These four wires control all the motion on the screen. If I disconnect these wires, all you see on the screen is a single dot. After these four wires are cut, the next step is to connect an audio cable to the wires leading to the vertical deflection coil. The wires from the horizontal coil are connected to the vertical coil wires from the circuit board. The audio output from my computer's headphone jack is connected via this cord to a speaker. This speaker has a built-in amplifier, which will, uh, increases the amplitude of the signal enough so it can be seen on the oscilloscope. These wires are connecting it to the input of the vertical deflection coil. Now, let's put up, pull up some Skrillex music and test it out.
this online tone generator allows me to generate any waveform and at any frequency and any amplitude just for my computer. It's connected to my oscilloscope, so now we can see some really complex waveforms. Let's try 60. Oh, that's cool. All right, that's cool. Now, let's stop. By connecting one audio channel to either deflection coil, we can create 3D patterns. 